Everybody, welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra and if you're new here, welcome. Today I wanted to do something that you guys had suggested. I was reading a lot of y'all's comments on the video with Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gigi, and you guys kept wanting to hear from the other people in the plane crash and how they are doing and you were also really concerned about the pilot and maybe get some information about what caused the crash. So I thought it would be a great idea to go ahead and do that. Now, I want to talk about a couple other things though that I was seeing in the comments. I guess the first thing that a lot of people were saying is, you know, leave him alone, let him rest in peace. And one of the reasons that I'm doing this is to make sure that they can rest in peace. Uh, if you believe in spirits and have experienced spirits, well, whether you believe in them or not, you know, it's a good chance that at one point in your life you're going to experience them. But spirits out there, a lot of the times they are lost because maybe they were involved in a tragic accident or something happened and it was just too fast for them to really process and cross over and some don't know that they've passed. And so my, my job and what I like to do is try and make sure that those people have had a safe passage over to the other side and can rest in peace. Something that someone else mentioned was, okay, well, why would this person be coming and talking to you when they just pass and they're going to want to be around their family? Okay, great question. However, that's assuming that their time is like our time, which is incorrect. Their time, they can be anywhere pretty much any time that they want to be. So now that's not to say that they can be in two places necessarily, but they can snap over here and be with me for half hour, an hour, and it might have been only half of a second in their time. So just a couple things like that that I thought that I would clear up because I know y'all had a lot of questions. Those were the main ones that I was seeing over and over and over again. But I'm going to do two more videos and this being one of them. And this one I really want to focus on talking to the pilot, seeing if one, he's safe and he's had a chance to cross over, and then the other I'm going to try and reach out to the families and make sure that they're okay, you know, the, the other people that were on board. The reason I'm doing it separately is because when I do these spirit box sessions, I have to go back through them, I have to run them through special uh, programs and listen to them and I listen to them with headphones on really really loud so that we can pull out what is truly being said and not get it messed up. I also have people that help me do this and doing trying to talk to seven people all at once. Um, one, the voices might get lost so I can't really tell who I'm talking to and two, this could be like an hour-long video. So we're gonna break it up into different parts. Uh, this video though, I'm gonna try and talk to the pilot. And now it's not always a guarantee that I can do that. I have two guides, which a lot of people call guardian angels. If you haven't seen the first video, which is uh, that I did for Colby and Gigi, but my guys' names are Ethan and E, and they are old time family members of mine, but these two always stay with me and they try and go out and talk to spirits and see if they can get them to come and speak with me. So not always is that the case, but we're gonna try and talk to the pilot. So prepare yourself for a spirit box session. It does get extremely loud. There's not much I can do about that. I know a lot of people either use a lot of different spirit boxes and some of those aren't all the noise, but I like to do the tried and true what has been used you know, years and years and years and what we know has worked and has tons of confirmation with, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of ghost hunters basically all around the world. Uh, and that's the spirit box that I use. And it's this little thing right here, PSV7. It's just a little cord. I connect it to an old JBL speaker that I have. Um, it does get really loud. Now, couldn't you do this at home? I think I talked about this in my last video. 
absolutely you could do this at home. But anytime you're talking to the spirit world, unless you are very familiar with it, you may not be getting who you're wanting to reach. Uh, just think of it as kind of using a uh, Ouija. Really, there's not any difference. You're still trying to make contact with the spirit world. Unless you've developed those bonds and, and that energy and you can feel that um, and you can feel different presences, then you may not know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, like I said, a long time ago in the past, I've had some problems with not so nice creatures. Um, so, aka demons that have wreaked a lot of havoc on my life from time to time. So, yes, you can do this at home. Yes, you can try the spirit box. But I always caution everyone to be a little careful. So, spirit box. Let's talk to the pilot. Now, I apologize if I pronounce his name right. Um, I believe it is Ara Zabayan. So, we're going to try and see what he has to say. Uh, headphone users, get ready for the noise because it's going to get really loud. I'm so sorry, but I need it this loud so you guys can hear what's going on. And I also need it this loud so that when I edit it, I can hear what's going on. Okay, let's go ahead. What? Ethan and E, are you there? Ethan? Ethan and E, I need you to come through really loud and say your names, please. Ethan and E, I need your help. I want to contact the pilot of Kobe Bryant's plane, or sorry, Kobe Bryant's helicopter that crashed. His name is Ara Zobayan. Let me know when you're here. Here? Ethan, are you here? Here, here? Okay. Okay, can you get him for me? your nickname was, that you even called yourself this nickname. Kobe, is that you? Did you get Kobe too? Ethan and E, I need you to help me filter out everyone. Please get all of them to be quiet. Kobe can talk. Gigi can talk if she wants. But I need the pilot who went by the name Big Z. I need him to talk. No one else is allowed to come through and talk. I need your help. Wow. Big Z, what is your girlfriend's name? What? Yep. Okay, Big Z, which we know is your nickname, what message do you have for your girlfriend of 11 years named Tessie? And I know you care about her two sons a lot. What messages do you have for her, her two sons? Kobe, yeah. What about Kobe? What about Kobe? You said Kobe. Is he here? Kobe, if you're here, can you say your name, please? Kobe? 
Shelby, do you have something you would like to say? the plane crash or sorry I keep saying plane what happened that made the helicopter crash but you were a veteran pilot you have been flying for years and even teaching why did the helicopter crash what happened again Okay, I'm going to try and do the app, and like I said, I only trust one app so far. Um, I'm working on trying to figure out if there's a second app that's legitimate, but I'm not going to put that out to you guys until I have a thousand percent proof that that is legitimate. So the app that I use is actually SBX12 Spirit Box, and I use the light version. This is what it looks like right here. This one, I have had so much spirit communication with this, and it has been so amazing. I will recommend, though, that when you're doing, if you do choose to do something like this, don't just, a lot of, a lot of people make the mistake that they think they hear something, but at the time, you're probably wanting to hear that. That's probably not really what's being said. So, it's best to ask your questions get through it and then and while you're recording it, it's best to record it and then go back through and listen because at the time maybe when you're contacting someone you're so focused in on that person that you're trying to contact and the questions you want answered that sometimes it can deceive your brain into hearing what it wants to hear so let's go ahead use this app keeping that in mind and uh, see what we can find because this this app has been amazing Ethan, are you here? This one unfortunately doesn't give the uh, the voice tone so much. It's more of electronic. Okay. I would like to talk to Kobe and Era. Okay, Era, if you're there, have you crossed over to the other side yet? Uh, if you guys have questions, I do read the comments. Sometimes I can't get a chance to respond to all of them. Uh, but if you have questions, leave them in the um, comments below and let me know. And then in the next video, maybe I'll be able to answer a lot of those. The next video, like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check on um, a couple of the girls from the basketball team, their families. So we're going to make sure that they're doing okay. It's never guaranteed, but I will do my best. And I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video coming out. Uh, like this. It really helps me out a lot. And I will talk to you soon. And we will also talk to them soon. So take care. And make sure you look after each other. And count blessings. Hold your loved ones tight. Because... If, if this has shown all of us anything, you know, it's, it's how much life can change in just a moment. So look after each other and I will be talking to you soon. Bye all.